we're here at Manchester Film Festival with Rebecca Snow, the director of The Boy in the Woods, and her star, Richard Armitage. How are we both today? Very good. Great. Great to be here. Happy to be here. Mm. Rebecca, we'll start with you. You've been telling Max's story now for a, you know, a few years. Can you tell us a little bit about when you first heard about the story of him in the woods? Yeah, sure. So I, my background is documentary filmmaking and I made a documentary about four years ago called Cheating Hitler, Surviving the Holocaust, which is all about child survivors of the Holocaust. And one of the survivors that we featured was a gentleman called Maxwell Smart, who's based in Montreal. Um, and he has this incredible memoir that he'd written called The Boy in the Woods. Um, and so I traveled with him, I interviewed him for hours and hours, and we, we made this documentary. And But I knew pretty quickly that the documentary was really just the beginning. Max's story is just needed to be told in a dramatic feature film. So that sort of, as I was making the documentary, I was, the idea was percolating. I think this might be more than this. I think it's going to be a movie. And so we actually then, um, I, I adapted his memoir, wrote the script and then uh, shot the film and very happily cast Richard. Richard came along and uh, came along for the ride. Richard, let's talk about you joining the project. What was your first, what was your first reaction when you read the script? Well, first of all, what happens is you get an email and it was a letter from Rebecca and a link to her documentary. But I resisted watching the documentary first. I read um, the autobiography because I wanted to meet him on the pages through his own words. But then, of course, it's I couldn't help myself. I just had to get in there and see this amazing sort of uh, discovery that, that had happened between them. Um, and then I started looking at the character of Yasko, who Max describes quite vividly in the book, um, and just felt the responsibility of telling a story of somebody that um, was never traced at the end of the... Uh, Maxwell never found him, did he? Um, yeah, so a little bit of an enigma, but also uh, the idea of playing someone that felt heroic, despite what might happen to his own family, I really kind of cherish that. And what was Max's reaction? Because I know Max has seen the film. What was Max's reaction to, first of all, seeing his story, you know, on film, but also seeing your performance? Yeah, so I mean, I was very nervous about Max seeing the film. He was he, he was involved the whole way. He's an exec producer on the film, and I, I, you know, we have a wonderful relationship, a very close relationship. And he was, you know, saw the script and and then saw the film. And I was a worried about him seeing the film because it's actually very triggering for him. This is his story, and it's a very very traumatic experience he went through um, and so I was kind of worried just on that level of like is this going to be okay for him watching it and he actually watched it in bits to begin with you know at home in the comfort of his home um, but he absolutely loved it he loved what we did with the film which is to me that was you know that was really the big deal for me was Max um, feeling like we were telling his story in the right way um, helping him tell his story and he also absolutely loved Richard's portrayal of Yasko. Yasko is this Polish farmer, a Christian farmer who helped, you know, this this Jewish boy in 1943 in Poland. And he, Max, really, really credits his survival to Jasko. He's He has incredibly strong feelings about his survival being in part, very largely in part due to Jasko. And so I knew that that role of Jasko it was something that Max was going to, the real Max was going to be very, you know, interested in seeing who, how it was portrayed. And he loved Richard's portrayal. You met him on set. I on did. I, yeah, it's, I, I feel like I've met him many, many times because you, you sort of obviously read the script a number of times. And I've been through the biography now. We, we didn't meet in person. We met on Zoom because he was in Montreal and, you know, I was, I was shooting for such a short time. But I mean, talk about exuberance for life and a life that has been so full and rich despite having gone started his life in this state of trauma but um i think um the when when max and jet first met that was quite an emotional moment yeah. for you and for him wasn't it yeah so jet uh he's here on the poster so jet klein is a wonderful young canadian actor he was 12 when we shot this movie which is the exact age that maxwell was when all this stuff happened to him in 1943 and um we shot in northern ontario where Luckily, the woods look in Canada, where the woods look very similar to what is uh, was Eastern Poland, now Ukraine, which is where this all took place. And um, Maxwell came to set one for two days, and he met Jet for the first time in person, and there was a be like very emotional embrace, you know. And Max actually watched some of the the shooting, and he saw, you know, he saw this uh, particularly poignant scene where he watches himself in this very emotional moment in the film and um, 
our young actor Jet at the end of, of, of performing that scene actually was very emotional himself. He, he was finding it actually quite hard to come out of the emotion as an actor. And he just ran into the tent where Max was sitting with the monitor watching and they just he fell into Max's arms and they were weeping together and I just the whole crew was just so moved because Max Max himself this 94 year old just took him in it took this young boy in his arms and said you just became me I just watched you become me as like, it, gives, it still gives me chills like goosebumps to think about it and that you could hear a pin you, you could have heard a pin drop on set the whole crew was just silent I mean it was just it was amazing to have this man who went through this experience on set and what do you hope audiences who see the film today take away from it goodness I mean I think it's so important to be telling these stories you know Maxwell released his memoir the boy in the woods which is wonderful but to be able to see his story on a big screen to a, a hopefully a wider audience and I hope also a, a young audience as well because this is a story about a young boy um, I think is so important to tell these stories it's a story of courage and resilience winning out over over fear and hatred and that is so important right now um, so that's what I hope people take away from it yeah I also think you know it's a very well-trodden path holocaust content movies stories books you know, this year alone we've seen a number of, well, an Oscar-winning international feature, but I often feel that there is a level of um, dramatization that happens, whether that's an evocative score that is designed to sort of tug on the heartstrings. And I think because Rebecca comes from documentary, it's this one has been all about honesty and truth and really not sort of playing into the, to the sort of man, emotional manipulation because it doesn't need it. It sort of hangs on the, the honesty and, and purity of, of Jet's performance, I think. Thank you so much. That's all we need. That was wonderful. Thanks. Thanks. Nice Thank to you. meet you.